What is the difference between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4? Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications, why don't you? That way you don't miss a single one of my videos. The past year or so, we have seen increased adoption of Thunderbolt 4. Apple has used this on its newer devices and we're seeing more and more PC manufacturers adopt it as well. But by many standards, Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 are incredibly similar. In fact, they support the same amount of data, 40 gigabits per second. So if they have the same connector, they have the same amount of data transfer, what's the difference between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4? And should you really care? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. As I mentioned, Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 are very similar and in many ways interchangeable. Thunderbolt 4 adopts a few things, including increasing the minimum requirements for a machine, as well as introducing at least a couple new-ish features for devices. And some people are definitely gonna care about Thunderbolt 4, while others aren't gonna care all that much. So let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit. Now Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 have the same connectors on the end. In many ways, you, you can't discern them. They each have a Type-C connector and little Thunderbolt logo on there. Many cables will be labeled with a 3 or a 4, so you can tell the difference. Unfortunately, Apple's own Thunderbolt 4 Pro cable doesn't list anything at all. It just shows a, a lightning bolt. But I guess Apple doesn't have a Thunderbolt 3 Pro cable, so there's nothing to confuse it with. I don't know, but proper specs should include a 3 or a 4, so there's at least some visual way of discerning a Thunderbolt 4 cable versus a Thunderbolt 3 but they are backwards compatible. So you can use a Thunderbolt 4 cable with a Thunderbolt 3 device and it'll work just fine. Talking about the minimum requirements, Thunderbolt 3 required that laptops support only one 4K display. Manufacturers could choose to support two 4K displays, but they didn't have to. With Thunderbolt 4, even though it supports the same amount of data, Thunderbolt 4 laptops are required to support two 4K external displays or a single 8K display. You could see this with Thunderbolt 3 devices, but it wasn't required. And that means you can feel safer knowing you have that minimum uh, support on any Thunderbolt 4 machine. Thunderbolt 4 also doubles the minimum bandwidth for PCIe storage. Thunderbolt 3 had a minimum requirement of 16 gigabits per second, and now Thunderbolt 4's minimum requirement is 32 gigabits per second for storage up to 3,000 megabytes per second. So if you're using a lot of storage over Thunderbolt, you could see improved benefits with Thunderbolt 4 because that minimum floor has been raised. Finally, Thunderbolt 4 also makes it standard among Thunderbolt 4 docks that you are able to wake your machine from sleep with a peripheral connected to that dock, meaning you can click your mouse or tap on your keyboard that is connected to that dock to wake your machine. It was possible with Thunderbolt 3, but it's now a requirement with Thunderbolt 4. Finally, the change that I am most excited about is the additional ports on a Thunderbolt 4 dock. So a Thunderbolt 3 dock could have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one upstream to connect to your machine and one downstream to daisy chain to a second or third whatever uh, Thunderbolt device. But with Thunderbolt 4, you can now have up to four total Thunderbolt ports, which means one upstream to connect to your Mac or PC, and then a set of three are possible downstream connect to multiple devices. You connect to USB devices or additional Thunderbolt devices. It's absolutely a big deal for many pro users like me who has a lot of Thunderbolt devices and doesn't want to daisy chain certain things. <sighs> it's a whole thing. But if we look at actual devices here, by the way, if you're looking for a Thunderbolt 4 dock, I have a whole other video dedicated to some of the best docks that are out there. I've got a link for it down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. I'll tell you everything you need to know. But looking at just a few Thunderbolt 4 docks, this one here from a logic three downstream Thunderbolt 4 docks to connect to other accessories on there. Same thing goes for this one from Sateki. I'm gonna screw up the focus on this camera 30 times and I apologize greatly for that. I'm trying to keep these in focus, but yeah, three downstream ports and finally one from 
OWC. Again, three downstream Thunderbolt 4 ports is very welcomed to connect additional accessories, whether USB-C or Thunderbolt. So those are the big changes. There's not a ton, and if your machine was spec'd out as it could be, you could really see almost no difference at all between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4. But for some users, it does make a difference because they've increased that minimum requirements. And at a minimum, users should feel safer buying a Thunderbolt 4 product knowing that it is going to excel in all of those areas. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and let me know if you have any questions on Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, USB-C, USB 4, all of that stuff in the description or in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And stay tuned, I have a lot more videos coming your way.